What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Let's transform your iPhone 16 Pro Max into a professional filmmaking powerhouse. Turning off that baked in footage on your iPhone camera and shooting in a format called Log. To be more specific, Apple ProRes Log. So, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your settings app and then you are going to go down to camera. So once you're in the camera settings, you are then going to go to formats, click formats. Then you're going to go all the way down to the bottom where it says video capture and toggle on Apple ProRes. Also, you want to make sure that ProRes encoding is log and not HDR. Then you're going to go back and then you are going to go to record video. You're going to click on record video and you can see that you can choose from 4K 120 all the way down to 4K 24 frames per second. Me personally, I like to shoot in 24 frames per second because it gives you that nice cinematic filmmaking look. You can shoot in 30, you can shoot in 60, but just know that those frame rates aren't as cinematic as 24 frames per second. Now let's get out of this app and then let's go into the camera app. So let's click open the camera app and you are going to swipe over to video. Once you're in video, you can go to the top left hand corner of your screen and toggle on ProRes Log. And when you do that, it switches from a baked in look to a flat kind of washed out look and that's what you want. Now you're thinking, whoa, that's a cinematic look. The next step would have to be taking the footage from your phone and put it in, into a editing program like Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve. Now you can go even a step further and get ProRes Log with more controls, meaning you can change your f-stop, your ISO, your shutter speed, and all that fun stuff with the Blackmagic app. So if you go to the App Store, type in Blackmagic app, Download it. I think you have to sign up for it to just make a account for it. Once you get your account set up, you are going to open up the app and you're going to go to settings at the bottom. And one, two, three down says color space. You're going to click on color space and then you are going to choose Apple Log HDR. So if it's on Rec 709, Rec 709 is basically the baked in look that you get normally from when you open up the camera app the first time. And this is pretty much what a lot of people shoot in because they don't necessarily know or care to shoot in a log format, but you do, and that's why you're watching this video. Let's go ahead and click on Apple Log. Gonna bounce out of that. And once you go back to the camera settings, you will be met with more of a flat look, a flat profile, and that's what you want. You can toggle the lens, you can toggle the frames per second, you can mess around with the ISO, the white balance and tint, and that's gonna give you a lot more control when you're filming because it's gonna allow you to dial in your settings a lot more rather than just having lack thereof. If you wanna get a little bit more creative with your filmmaking, the Blackmagic app is great for that. I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. So that's gonna end today's video. If you guys if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave a comment in the comment section down below and I will try to do my best to answer those questions for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you don't mind, consider subscribing to the channel to learn more. Thanks for watching. It's been real. Keep it real. You know what it is. Deuces.